Dr. Jennifer McVig is a pediatric neurologist. She's been seeing patients in this case since October. Good morning. Good morning. Explain to me what conversion disorder is, uh, why so many women are affected, you know, and, and why uh, you think that this is the cause rather than environmental disorders as others have okay. speculated. Conversion disorder is this the manifestation of uh, psychological symptoms in a physical form. So um, usually there's an, a stressor that's the onset. Somebody has either uh, a lifetime of many stressors that build up or one individual stressor, and it, it kind of brings that out in a physical form. So people may have uh, seizures or fainting spells. Uh, they can have blindness, um, tics, loss of motor control, where you can't move a leg or an arm. Um, and, and that's how it just kind of it comes out in that individual. What are the psychological disorders that might cause that? Um, some anxiety, depression. About anything? Anything, yeah. And why do you rule out environmental disorder as a possible cause? Well, we've been working very closely with the New York State Department of Health, Dr. Greg Young. Um, they've done full uh, testing of the school, the groundwater, the soil, uh, the, the environment around the school. Um, and the CDC has been brought in. They've been having discussions with them. Mm. So from all that we've known, um, all of this has been cleared. You've, you've, as we mentioned, been treating a number of these kids since October. What are some of the, you said anxiety, but what are some of the specific tr stresses that you believe they told you about in their lives that led you to this diagnosis? Um, I can't talk about specifics only because of HIPAA violations, but okay. I can say that I've been treating some of them even since the summer. Um, but it can be as easy as, you know, familial divorces within mm -hmm. the family or something else that happened in school. How close are all of these kids? I mean, are they all facing the same stresses that there's this large group all having it right mm -hmm. now? They don't all have the same stress. Uh, and, and you can imagine as a 16, 17-year-old child, uh, or a young adult, I should say, uh, there are several stressors within the school situation. Um, and I should also mention that... Um, we do suspect that usually with, with uh, uh, conversion disorder, and this is actually mass psychogenic um, illness as opposed to conversion disorder because of the fact that there's so many people involved. This is what we are believing. Um, usually with that, there's an index case. So we do believe that there's maybe one individual that may have true motor symptoms or have developed mm. the conversion disorder that uh, precipitated the entire thing. What is it? Erin Brockovich is, is making what point, and she's sending people there to do what? Um, I believe that she has uh, found information about a train derailment uh, that happened uh, years ago, and there was a feeling that there was a contamination that wasn't uh, properly disposed of. Um, I, I believe that. And you said earlier you don't think that that is a possible cause. I I'm unsure if, if that actually happened, the train derailment. I I'm sure that that happened in the history, and that if there's contamination, I don't believe that this is the cause of this particular symptomatology with these particular girls. Because you've talked to them and treated them. Uh, I've treated 10 of them. Right. Thank you, Dr. Jennifer. Thank Thanks for coming in.